Hey there, Prashant this side from Grow Strex. In this video, I am going to walk you through entire process of creating the lambda functions and scrapping the data and creating or make a request from make.com. So let's dive into it. So you just need to navigate to your Amazon AWS Amazon lambda here. Just click on uh, the top right corner with the sign in with the, to the console and you just needs to uh, logged in with the root user. So I am logged in with my login password. After logged in in your AWS, you just need to navigate to the Lambda. Here in this Lambda, you can create the multiple functions from uh, uh, this top right corner, create functions button. Just click on this create function button here. You just needs to uh, authorize and give the name of uh, your function. So let's give it the name as in test AWS here I just creating the runtime as a node you can create uh, the Python or something so let's create the runtime as in Python 3.2 uh, architecture we are just choosing this just click on uh, the create functions directly to create the lambda function in your AWS it's text sometimes and uh, redirect it to the uh, console where you can uh, modify your lambda functions according to you here you can see that there is in some options to add dependencies like uh, uh, aws layers or you can directly import all the dependencies or files from uh, imports buttons here so here you can write your lambda functions uh, to scrap the data or anything else so let's the go to uh, our VS code and see that how you can create uh, the zip files to import uh, here all the dependencies and the lambda functions. So basically you just needs to create this specific folder and uh, you just need to simply create the new Python files to uh, update the data here. So you just need to save this specific uh, Python file with the uh, renamed with the lambda underscore function as uh, you can see that here the file name is in default file lambda underscore function dot py. So I'm quickly going to save this or rename this file with the lambda underscore function in our uh, targeted folder. So I just created this specific folder test AWS in which I create the file with the lambda underscore function so yeah that's all about this uh, uh, function tab you just need to uh, install the dependencies so after creating this lambda underscore function dot py file, you just need to uh, install all the dependencies uh, which is used in this uh, lambda underscore functions dot py file. So just needs to navigate uh, to this specific folder you want to uh, install all the dependencies and just needs to uh, run this command pip install request bs4 html2 text parser. So these are the libraries which are using in the uh, Python code. So you just need after this, you just needs to give the hyphen hyphen target to create the folder on which uh, all the dependencies are downloaded. So I just giving the name as in test. So let's run this once. So after entry enter uh, this command in your terminal, it start installing all the dependencies and create the folder uh, as in target name. It takes few seconds to install all the dependencies. After that, uh, uh, dependencies are uh, uh, created and uh, updated in this test folder. So here you can see that all the dependencies are there. Now you just needs to uh, move the lambda underscore function in this uh, newly created dependencies folder. So this is our uh, all the files and uh, dependencies libraries available in this specific folder. You just needs to uh, zip the all these files. Just uh, select all. Right click on this. Uh, in this uh, send to there's an option to compress or zip folder after zip all these files here you can see that uh, the folder are uh, there with the html2 text uh, you can rename these according to your need 
Now you just needs to uh, import this zipped file in your AWS uh, Lambda. Okay. Uh, now in this uh, Lambda functions console, here you can see that on the uh, right corner, upload from dropdown. Here you can see like the dot zip file. After selecting this drop zip file, you can drag and drop that uh, specific file you created, uh, all the dependencies in the function. So let's drag this zip file to upload dot zip port section. After uploading this zip file, just uh, enter save to save all the changes or uploading the file. Start updating all the files. Here you can see that all the files and the libraries are there in this specific uh, folder with all the dependencies. Now you can invoke this specific function with the URL to scrap the data. And uh, you, if you want to uh, invoke these functions through uh, the API, you can uh, add a trigger according to your need by clicking on this add trigger button. Here you can find multiple options to trigger uh, your Lambda functions. Uh, in this case, I am just using this API gateway to uh, trigger this. So I am creating a new API with this HTTP, HTTP API. And this I just, for testing purpose, I only accessible with this HTTP request. After uh, clicking on add, it will give you the trigger URL here uh, and uh, the API endpoints are uh, available to trigger this HTTP request or the Lambda functions. So let's test this down, uh, this function is running perfectly or not. So basically you just need to uh, give in the section of test. Here you can give the event name and uh, try to make the request here. So let's try to run this once. So basically our function is expecting uh, the one body URL, which is uh, the video URL or event we can select. In which you are in this URL, we just needs to give the any website URL, which we want to scrap. So I'm just uh, keeping any random web page URL to scrap the data. So here you can see that all the data are coming in the JSON format to from scrap uh, scrap the data from this specific page. Now you can invoke this uh, Lambda functions to make.com. So let's navigate to the make.com and see that how you can use this. So you just need to simply navigate to the make scenarios dashboard just click on this big plus icon and search for the amazon lambda here you can find this amazon lambda uh, module in this module here you can find uh, the invoke function module this uh, this module is basically invoke your uh, created function in your aws lambda function so uh, you can create the connections uh, by clicking on this add button just click on that here you can you just needs to give the aws key and uh, aws secret key so you can generate this aws key and secret key in your uh, from your aws lambda on the top right corner just click on uh, your uh, profile icon here you can see that the security credentials just click on this on the security credentials, it will uh, redirect it to the different page. It, uh, here you can see that all the stuffs here. After navigating this page, here you can find the options to create access key. So I already created the access key. So there is a, the, the button is visible now. So you can create simply create uh, the access key by clicking on this create access uh, key button and uh, it will give you the keys. After copy paste all your keys, you can uh, put it into the connection tab, uh, AWS key and AWS secret key. After putting all these keys, just click on save button to uh, save your all changes. Now you, your connection is visible in this drop down. You can select these connections over here. So basically this is my connection, which we created for the AWS Lambda. Uh, in this function uh, name, there's an uh, drop down where you can find your, uh, the lambda function which you created so as we created the lambda function 
namely test underscore AWS. So if I try to uh, find this lambda functions in this drop down, let's search it for AWS and this uh, tested uh, underscore AWS. So let's select this one. So let's run this once with this configuration. So when I click on the run once button here, uh, it's invoking the Amazon Lambda functions, which we created on uh, our AWS. So here you can see that in the output bundle, the body has the HTML content, all the HTML content of this specific uh, URL, which we give on the body parameter here. So yeah, that's all about this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful to understand how you can create Amazon Lambda functions, how you create the zip file dependencies or libraries files and import it from uh, the local system to your AWS Lambda and uh, upload it by simply importing the files and how you can invoke that specific functions from uh, the make scenarios. Please like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.